Hi, it's Lita Lanzapathica, and I want to share with you something called emotional freedom technique, or EFT, or tapping, uh, it's also called, and um, it's, I really believe in it. it's kind of like a non-needle emotional form of acupuncture, kind of, so what you're you're, you can pretty much try it on anything, but it's your, um, you're tapping on points on your face, mer uh, meridian points, and relieving yourself of most anything. This stuff is working on post-traumatic stress uh, for veterans. It's working on uh, people with these lifelong illnesses that can't seem to work it out. It's worked on a lot of people. There's a lot online. I'm going to link a kind of educational video that Gary Craig, who is somebody who uh, is pivotal in sort of expanding awareness of the emotional freedom technique, uh, down below. But I, I've used it um, for lots of things, things like, um, like a, a line in my forehead right here. I've used it for uh, for more emotional trauma or something's aggravating me or, or procrastination. I've used it on a lot of things. The tricky part is re remembering to use it when you're in a, a bind. Um, that's the hardest part. But you can also use it on like childhood trauma or just anything really. And you can kind of go through the process, which is very quick, under two minutes. And I'm gonna show you it now. Um, but you, you basically can use it for anything. So even like, I gotta pee and I'm in traffic. Uh, and I, you know, that's going to be my example, actually. So there's a setup phrase that you're, you're tapping on this line in between your pinky and your ring finger, or you can massage right under the collarbones, sort of this, this, you'll find it's kind of tender, maybe like two fingers in and down. Um, that's my favorite spot is to rub that place because it just feels like it's more effective to me. You can also... Oh, it's not there. Sorry. It's right on the side of your hand where I guess meridian points um, reside. So the set of phrase you say three times, which is even though I blank, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, which even just saying that for some people is like a, the whole emotional bag there. But that is what it is. So even though you say it three times, you tap here, even though I have to pee right now really bad and I'm in traffic. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Or right here. Even though I really have to pee and I'm stuck here, I love and accept myself. Even though I have to pee so dang bad, I love and accept myself. I choose to accept this and move on. That's a set of plays. And even just doing these without even having something, even tapping the spots, if you, uh, I think, what is this? T7? I don't know what that is, but even just tapping these, if you're feeling funky or you're like agitated or you, you have a cold or something, that really helps. Just tapping these spots. Hocus pocus, I know, but try it and maybe you'll see. So there's my setup point. I have to pee. And then the first, then you go, so that's the setup phrase, and then you go through a little sandwich. You go through this process, tapping down your face. And then you tap right here. This is the meat, if you will, of our little sandwich. Um, while you do a little eye movement, sort of brain reprogramming, and then you tap down your face again. Okay? Let me just explain the spots. There's one right at the beginning of your eyebrow. You just tap there lightly. Outside of the eyebrow, these are all our points. Under the eye, you kind of just tap around the bones on your face. Under your nose, under your lips, on your chin and then collarbones. And then there's some additional ones that I like to add. Crossing over, which affects your brain, right under your boobs, on your ribs, and then on the side of your ribs, like a bra line, if you will. Imagine if you have a bra. Um, and then you right here tap the gamut point, that's what they call this little divot right here. And then you roll your eyes around in, your circle, in a circle, both directions, try and get all the way, all the spots, all the numbers around the clock, and then you go on a diagonal, and then you hum 
any tune, like happy birthday, <laughs> for two seconds, count for five, backwards, I like to count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and then hum again. <laughs> then you tap back down the points. And just doing that without a set, without anything in mind, I already feel my energy uplift. I mean, I believe, and maybe that you know everything is connected. So even if you're tapping out some emotional thing, that it's gonna, it's your emotional body affects your physical body, and that seems reasonable, right? Everything is affected. Um, so the subtle energy lines, your meridian lines, are gonna affect you in a lot of ways. So. I already feel my energy uplift. Let's do the setup. I'm going to just do it straight through. You can, um, <clears throat> while you're doing the tap down and all the eye movements, you're, you're thinking, I got to pee, I got to pee, or whatever the ailment is. I, you know, you see your molester when you were a kid or something, your, your, your car accident. You know, the more visual, the more, you know, when you're thinking about back of a trauma, the more visual the, the, image I think the more effective this is so like that usually happens with trauma you just remember a particular image all right okay so even though I really have to pee right now and I'm stuck in traffic I love and accept myself even though I really really have to pee I love and accept myself even though I have to pee so bad I can't get out of my car I love and accept myself anyways I gotta pee so bad I have to pee, my bladder's gonna burst. I have to pee, I have to pee, what am I gonna do? I gotta pee so bad. I have to pee, I have to pee, I have to pee. And then on the game point, I have to pee so bad. Diagonals. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Usually around this time, you feel a shift. I have to pee so bad. I have to pee, pee, pee. I have to pee. I have to pee, pee, pee. I have to pee, pee, pee. <sighs> well, my energy, I definitely don't have to pee. That's for sure. But my energy is already shifted, I feel like. Ah, this is lovely. Um, so then rate, check back and see. And it's good to rate. Like, I have to pee 1 in 10. I've got to pee so bad. It's like a 10. And then you check after you do the little sandwich, the setup phrase, the tap down, the gamut point, and the tap down. You check in with your ailment and see what rate it so that you can act, have feel some measurable results and not just be like, I don't know. It's nice, measurable results are neat. Um, yeah, so when I tried that with my fur furrow line here, like I just had the line, it, I could feel the tension and it, I could feel it kind of, whoo release after I did the gamut, which was neat. Um, but yeah, I've tried this with friends that are having problems, you know, that stuff that they, it's problems in their life. I've tried it with stupid things like I have to pee pee. And uh, it's worth a shot. I'm gonna put some links of some other videos. That's a real, it's just a really nice way to handle it. Uh, oh, once I remember I was in a car wreck and my boyfriend at the time was being a dick. And I don't know, he was not comforting at all. And uh, I didn't know what to do. And I just went away and I just tapped, you know, because I just had this trauma. I just had this trauma and it really helped calm me down. And my partner wasn't helping and I just tapped. I just tapped. That was the one time I remember that I actually remembered to do my tapping while I was in a traumatic situation before it could really take hold in my cells. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope that you enjoy it and look up some videos on YouTube. There's lots of people who do go through processes like any ailments, like eating sugar too much or most anything, headaches, insomnia, etc. Check it out.